Hello and welcome to episode 68 of Anime and Us. I'm TJ. And this is Sean. And this is the review show that reviews anime from A to Z. Sort of. <laughs> threw him off. <laughs> oh, I wish you had seen his face. <laughs> you threw off the whole intro. <laughs> been doing the same intro for 68 episodes. And I'm Sean. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, so uh, last episode we got Hakuge Guy. Haku Guy? Probably. Legend of the Moby Dick. Now when we clicked on it, uh, 13 episodes. No, it was no big deal, right? 13 episodes. It's not 13 episodes. It's 26 episodes. But, I wasn't going out of my way to look for else. Oh, thank god, because it was so bad. I, I, I refused to watch the second half of the show, so we watched the first 13 episodes at the very least. Yeah, you texted me a few days ago, like, hey, uh, for some reason I only had 13 episodes on the website, but it's actually 26, I don't want to watch it all, because it's terrible. <laughs> so we didn't. Uh, we only watched the full 13. Or half the 13. Half the 13, yeah, and it's, def- half, and it's definitely half of the series, series so. Because, yeah. Because it ended about, we got to a point where it's like. They met Moby Dick. <laughs> right after they met Moby Dick, pretty much. Well, they spent the first half of the show in space, and now I'm assuming the second half is on that planet. Yeah, I don't think they're getting off that planet. Yeah, so, I mean... Anyway, premise. Uh, oh, wait, we didn't even do the wiki yet. Did a wiki. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you jumped to it. Anyway, uh, whew, this is a weird one. Uh, Moby Dick, blah, 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 Legend of Moby Dick, is an anime Japanese television series based on Herman Melville's original novel Moby Dick. However, this adaption used futuristic outer space as the setting with whales being large abandoned spaceships instead. It aired in 1907 to 1999. Apparently it took two years to air 26 episodes. Yeah. Uh, they, blah, 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 released on ADV in the U.S. from ADV films across it's, six Yeah, it, it, it took two years because they suspended the new episodes till 90. Oh, okay. Yeah. Probably sure about that. Yeah, probably. You skipped stuff like that. I wonder that. why they suspended it, because it's fucking god awful. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. So I guess go with the premise real quick. Uh, so there's these, I guess salvagers is what they are, because they, 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 no, they, they hunt the whales. Yeah, they're whale hunters. They, they, they are whale hunters. I thought they were more or less salvagers. So technically, like they're salvaging. They are salvagers. They're just called whale hunters, and the ships they salvage are whale hunters. Or whales. Yeah, how do the whale like the Moby Dick was created by the Federation as uh-huh. a weapon, but how are the other whales created? Oh, they so just they mentioned parts that mm, suck together. No, they mentioned that in the first episode. I didn't f- remember. Apparently, back in you know twenty three hundred or whatever <laughs> it was, <laughs> the uh, uh, Earth reached its technological peak and everybody wanted to, all the corporations started sending spaceships into space trying to colonize n- new planets and stuff but it failed and then all the corporations just abandoned all their ships so, so they just float through space as whales oh so they like the ships were in whale form for some reason yeah why the f*** do you make a spaceship to look like know. a whale <laughs> <laughs> Why do you create a series based on a book that's terrible? And oh, not only that, but then you make it in space. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. Anyway, so the the whales are out there, and these guys are uh, they're whale hunters. Mm-hmm. They hunt them for parts and all that. It's, it's a ship. So yeah, if you ever read Moby Dick, there's there's the basic. There's Captain Ahab. He's also Ishmael too, who is the main character. Yeah, I, I could have sworn that was two different people. Ishmael is the main character in Moby Dick because it opens up call me Ishmael. And what could be interesting is uh, not that they said it in the thirteen episodes that we saw, but maybe. There was an actual Captain Ahab, and he died, and then Ishmael became... That's possible, but I didn't, it wasn't good enough to keep my intrigue up into that no, point. No, not at all. So there's Captain Ahab. I forget who the slave Indian guy was on the ship that... Unimportant, but he was... He doesn't have just, the same He doesn't have the same name in this series as he did in the book. And that's it. Essentially be, the character, though. Hulking yeah. Indian Yeah. Everybody guy, else is custom for the show. There's a main person, Lucky, that turns out to be a girl. Yeah, because, you know... There's a whole episode about this person being a girl on their ship, and like, oh, it's bad luck, blah, 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 uh, but then it's yeah. like, oh, it's okay. Basic whale hunt, well, ba- basic um, sailor lore yeah. have, back in that time, have women on their ships, bad luck, blah, 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 but she turns out to be a woman, and she's she's like 14, apparently. Yeah. So she's she sneaks she sneaks on board trying to be a, as a boy and, and her objective is to get Ahab to go back to her world and save it. Yeah, although from didn't, the whale. that didn't seem like it. It didn't seem like it in the first two few episodes up no. until the reveal. Yeah, it just felt like she wanted to join the group. Mm-hmm. And then plot twist: I'm a woman, but guess what? I also really need you for something. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, it. Really didn't make any sense. It, none of this made any sense. It's 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 god awful. Stay away from it. The animation's bad. I mean, for its time, ninety seven. I get it, but it's still f- terrible. Dragon Ball Z was around then; it looked great. Yeah, and each character has is 
got are quirky and stuff like that. The one characters go on. Is it Lucky or is yeah. it the other guy? No, Lucky. It's the there's a eleven year old boy. I forget yeah, his yeah, name. He's Gohan. He's Gohan. And, and I found I found it funny because he's the only character that they show kind of naked at times. Like they show his ass a lot. Yeah. So it's like this is just Dragon Ball <laughs> because he's also isn't Gohan also Goku from Dragon Ball? Isn't it the same voice actor? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. No, they sound similar. I think it, so. I, I um, maybe at certain times. Yeah, like, you know, different voice actors from different parts of the series. I think. Right. Okay. But I, I know Kid Goku and Kid Gohan sound mm-hmm. alike, so I thought they were the same voice. They might be. I could be wrong though. I don't know, but you could tell it's Gohan. It's very distracting that it's Gohan. Oh yeah, like he didn't try to change his voice for this role. It's just. Go on. Yeah, it's like, uh, okay. <laughs> I, guys, there's not, there's nothing to it. There's a couple weird episodes, um, but the, it's just shit. It's, it's, it's god awful really, shit. It's really bad. There's, All of it's bad. There's, it there's op- no redeeming. <laughs> there's an, there's an, they open up on a, that, on a, an ice planet and where oh, the cyborg. With the android, because they call them android even though they're cyborgs. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, that's also a Dragon Ball Z problem, too. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? It's an android. <laughs> <laughs> they call the androids androids, but they're really cyborgs in Dragon Ball <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so there are androids in this, even though they're cyborgs. And all the androids are Federation made. Well, Not that that really matters. But. Well, it's funny. Actually, all androids are prisoners with life sentences who have their memories mm. and their brains scanned into android bodies. So. Really weird. For no reason. And this specific android uh, has a connection with with uh, the, wood, the Moby Deck, the whale. Because the They're yeah. one, and if you're alive, then I'm alive. Moby, like, for some fuck? reason, in the first in the open, Moby Deck cuts him open and puts something inside of him. Like there's like surgery. Like <laughs> cut open his chest and put some kind of chip in his thing. And then the Captain Ahead Crab's crew finds him frozen to a bottom of a, a derelict ship. And he was in a coffin frozen to the bottom. Yeah, of it. and I don't know why he was put in the coffin either. I kind of we kind of skipped over that. Beginning yeah, part. It we, doesn't matter. we were tuned out right from doesn't the beginning. Matter. And then I was biased against this going in because I hate the book so much. I, I mean, I don't really mind it so much. I, there was the one movie with Chris Hemsworth that was okay. I just I, I didn't like the ending. No, but I, I, I feel like there's a there's yeah, yeah whatever. It's just this yeah. was terrible. It, I I really don't like the book at all, and it just soured me on the entire premise. <laughs> and even every, even when they go into the Moby Dick. Beats, you know, where Ahab gets obsessed and stuff like that. It's just so annoying to me. I, I get flashbacks and it's like infuriating to me. In the second to last episode, uh, well, second to last thir- to the thirteenth, twelfth episode, they're they're sort of hunting it. They they, they come in contact with it, and uh, Captain Ahab gets on top of the ship. He's standing on top of their spaceship with his peg leg, and they're just flying fast as. F- Towards Moby Dick and he's fine. Yeah, not flying off, not holding on to anything. Yeah, and Ahab pro- is, and this is like a pirate captain, honestly. Yeah, stereotypical pirate captain. One eye, head yeah. leg. They're all technically stereotypical pirate tropes, except it's space. So you know they got that. They got a hacker and. You know, they got someone who the can... Android. They got a, a pilot. Mm. They got the android. They got the, the cannibal Indian guy who eats <laughs> everything. They got a cook. They ended up getting a detective to join them. Yeah. Who was, was once a prison guard who ruined, got his life ruined by Ahab when Ahab escaped the prison prison it was in because Ahab was a whale hunter, accidentally boarded a civilian ship and got the Federation after him until he was finally killed by Moby Dick. Well, his crew was killed by Moby Dick. He was... Lost his, his leg. legs and his arm. arm. No, no, it was like he had an arm, but his eye. Uh, I thought his arm was metal, too. It wasn't. I don't know. He only mentioned his leg when he was on the well, top of the, the ship. Like, ah, oh, faithful reunion, you ate my leg and gosh shot my eye. Now maybe it was just that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I thought it was his arm, too, until that ex- exact moment when he didn't mention his arm. And I'm like, oh, I guess he has his arm. No, I, I, I don't know. I don't remember. It's <laughs> like, I, I don't care enough. I really don't. <laughs> I am Stay so... Stay far away. I am so... So against this show, I hate it so much that I mean, H is just rough on us for they some reason. They did the whole, uh, yeah, it is. They did the whole redeeming pirate thing, like One Piece does. Where although they're they're not really pirates, they're more like whale hunters, scavengers, but they're also kind of pirates, like you were saying. Like mm-hmm. they, they're tra- they really are traditional pirates, but they're benevolent at the same time. Like they're there to help. Yeah, which is bullshit because and the preaching's there. You know yeah. what I mean. 
It, yeah, it's all a bunch of bull crap. So I, what I normally do if I don't finish something, but like for the show, I, we've made it a point to watch everything so we can give it a proper review, with the exception of Ninja Hattori. <laughs> yeah, and what are we, uh, six or seven episodes. Of we had like eight that? in that one, yeah. but it was enough to get through all that. And this one, everything else, we did full series or seasons at That's various. So. So bad. Yeah, I forgot what my point was, but <laughs> so like we we make a point to go out of our way to actually do this. I just couldn't do it with this, this one. Yeah, this was must have been some sort of glitch where they all didn't get uploaded or something. Oh, oh, the, what I was gonna say is normally what I do is if I don't want to finish something, I'll go and read a synopsis mm. just to see what the end story is. But I couldn't even find a synopsis mm. for this on Wikipedia. Doesn't have a, a plot. Well, the plot is just an over. You know how they usually go into the plot and everything. Yeah, yeah, they didn't really do that. In this well, it just has an overlay on the Wikipedia page, like an uh, overview of what you would find on the back of a like DVD cover, and I was like, oh, I guess it doesn't matter, because it doesn't. Because I am curious if at the end, if they all survive, or if Ahab does die by the Moby Dick, because that's what happens in the I house. hope they all die. I truly hope they all die. Well, I'm pretty sure most of them survive, and that they save the planet, yeah, and they all live ha- happily ever after. Maybe Ahab goes out sacrificing Look, himself. I can hope, alright? <laughs> they all deserve death. I don't, I don't like I said, I don't... This is... This is a low score. Yeah, this is so bad. I mean, I it's so see, strange, I too. I see no reason for anyone to want to watch this. It's so strange, too. Like, for some reason, there's an episode with ghosts. Yeah, the ghost ship. The ghost ship out of nowhere, and the ghost ship wasn't actually ghosts. There were a bunch of corpses or something. I was so tuned out, I was, like, on my phone the entire episode, so I don't <laughs> know what was happening. Doesn't matter. Don't watch it. And I'm just trying to think what... There was a few... If you want... Or if, you, if you're interested in the story of Moby Dick, there's better things to read or watch. Not this. Yeah, I can't... I don't know. Maybe we're... I'm... We're just... It's old, and... Yeah, it's, it's older. Dated, sure. <laughs> It feels like something out of the 80s, even though it's in the 90s. Like, late 90s. And it's it's just a rehash of every 90s space thing mm-hmm. that happened in that in that decade. It's nothing like, original. There is nothing in it. It was just... I'm, like, I'm stretching to think of something else. There's nothing. There is nothing. Like, I'm trying to think of the, the weird episodes that happened, because there were a few strange things that happened. Like, they met the one boy's, like, so, who she was supposed to be his adoptive mother. Right, and she said she was in love with Ahab and not the actual guy. And for some reason, Ahab, Ahab doesn't want vagina. He just doesn't care. I guess. I don't know. He's like, nope. That's, good. that's the... She's obs- like, just kiss me. Maybe he's obsessed with And the way she was crying on his chest, like, ah! Yeah, it was so bad. Ahab's not a good guy either, and everybody treats him like he's a good guy. He's a criminal. <laughs> he literally, apparently, killed people on a, a civilian ship, and all of a sudden, everyone's supposed to. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the um, episode where the, the girl snuck on board with the reporter girl, and they started doing the live series, and all the crew was obsessed with the, with the girl, like to the point where they're stripping off their clothes and chasing her around. And, and then and the only one she's in, actually interested in is Ahab, mm-hmm. and it's like, come on, this is stupid. The whole thing was stupid. Yeah, I, guys, don't watch it. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm trying to give it a review here, and I'm... No, it's all bad. Yeah. Nothing's good about I can't, it. I, I really can't find anything redeeming in it, it. So let's move on to something else. Well, what, what are we giving it? Um, three. And that's only because there, it's not as bad as things I, I truly hate. No, I, I can't. I, I, I'm going one. One? I can't. It, I, it's, it I gave it, it's, it's worse than 801 TTS Air Bats. I don't know about that. It's worse than that. It's, 801's eight episodes. <laughs> I, think, I think we need to do a rewatch. <laughs> it's eight episodes. <laughs> Renew your hatred. No, I, I, I remember that show, and I remember liking the last episode of that. At least, oh, at least, at least the last episode of that had well, some. Well, maybe the last episode of this would have been redeeming. No. Uh, you, what else did we have? Um, to score it with it. Tawamari Princess. And the Fleet and Blossom oh, right, right. with the, the vampires. I'm going to go Fleeting Blossom, this, then Princess. Because I really didn't like the Princess. No. No, 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 no. no. Princess, then this. Yeah. I was, I was thinking of something else. Yeah, the Tawamari Princess. The Fleet and Blossom and the Tawamari Princess were both reverse harems mm-hmm. based on visual novels. That's why we were like... <laughs> But at least the Fleet and Blossom one, everyone died at the end of it. Mm. And the Taramori Princess it was like, it's our still our most popular episode. For some reason. So, it def- it's definitely Fleet and Blossom, Taramori Princess, this one. Just because people watched it. Alright guys, quick pause. We gotta fix the list real quick. Okay. So Sean messed up the wheel somehow. Yeah, he, somehow he, I messed he it up. He pasted it twice or whatever. <laughs> so Yeah, we just had to delete it and then redo it. We, All had good. To, we had to take out the stuff we had already watched and crap like that. So we're spitting for I... For next episode, you ready? Yeah, I'm waiting on you. Let's go. There's like two things in here I'm interested to watch. I didn't click on everything, mind you. 
Yeah. But uh, if we get initial D, that'd be pretty awesome. Which we're not going to get, of course. Other? Is it, is it wrong to try pick up girls in a dungeon? I don't know. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a I've dungeon? I've seen at least one episode of this. Is it bad? That's a good question. I don't remember. <laughs> it was, it was uh, where's Is? I didn't read it. Yeah, no, I've seen a couple episodes of this. I, I watched it a while ago. Wow, there's a couple of seasons to it, too. Yeah, 13 episodes for one season, so it's not too bad. Yeah, you know. I remember not liking it enough to finish it. <laughs> well, I was also reading it subbed, which is different than dubbed. Dub, you, it's a lot easier to watch something dubbed. You can just kind of sit and relax. Right, it's true. I mean, I guess you'll be finishing it now, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I'll at least watch the first season. Um, It does get a, a bit of praise. A lot of people like it. Yeah. It's supposedly what I read, because uh, I actually just read a comment on this. I was looking up animes to watch, because apparently I don't watch enough of it. And uh, someone had said... Uh, it's D and D in real life. So, like, if real life was D and D, oh, I see. I don't think it's that personally from what little I saw, but we'll no, see. We played D and D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Next episode. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Apparently, see you guys. Can't be worse than this one. Bye.